we've seen cases where the projectile is launched from the ground and then at the end of its flight it returns back to the ground at the same horizontal level and the net velocity is always tangential to the path at all times. To refresh your memory, let's resolve the net vector into its two vector components Vx along the x-axis and Vy along the y-axis and let's see how they change over time. Vx, which is V0 cos theta, does not change and remains constant throughout the flight. Whereas Vy starts off as V0 sin theta, goes down to zero at the topmost point and then increases in the downward direction as the projectile lands back on the ground. Also, the vector addition of Vx and Vy everywhere along the path would give us the resultant vector V. We have also seen that the magnitude of the velocity of the projectile when it lands is equal to the magnitude of the velocity when it is launched, provided that the launch and landing points are on the same horizontal surface. Now suppose we decided to launch the projectile from a tower of some height and then it lands back on the ground from the tower. What would change in such a scenario? Let's watch the animation. Everything appears to be the same except that the projectile would have a longer time of flight and would have a greater range. Earlier, its range would have been the horizontal distance between A and B. But now, its range is the horizontal distance between A and C. What about the velocity vector? Let's watch the animation. The x component of the velocity vector v0 cos of theta or Vx continues to remain constant right from the launch point to the topmost point to B and from B to C. So there is no change in the x component of velocity at all. What about the y component of velocity? The y component of the velocity starts off as V0 sin theta and then at the topmost point it goes down to zero and then it rises again to v0 sine theta as the projectile reaches b and b is at the same horizontal level as a. Now from b to c the y component of velocity keeps increasing. This is because the velocity and the acceleration due to gravity are in the same direction. Since the net velocity is the vector addition of Vx and Vy all along the path and Vx remains constant and Vy increases from B to C, the net velocity would also increase from B to C. This would mean that the speed at C would be greater than the speed at B and the speed at B is identical to the speed at A. This would imply that when the projectile lands at C, its speed here is greater than that at the launch point A. So C speed is greater than V0 and V0 is the launch speed at A. This would happen as long as the launch point is higher than the landing point. These are the key ideas when a projectile is launched from a tower. Its time of flight increases, its range increases, and its landing speed 
is greater than its launch speed. 